Hello, this is Jack Jackson. In this video, we're going to talk about some major mathematicians who won some major prizes. Nobel Prize, Fields Medal, and Obel Prize winners. Let me start you out with a uh, question, see if you can figure this one out. Which university in the world currently employs the most mathematicians with a Nobel Prize in mathematics? Got an answer? Well, I'd say University of Arkansas Fort Smith, where I work, or you could just fill in the blank with wherever university you are, because in fact, all universities are tied for the lead at zero. While some mathematicians have earned a Nobel Prize for work applying mathematics to other fields, there is no Nobel Prize for mathematics. Why? Uh, we don't know for sure, but basically, uh, Nobel was interested in uh, setting up prizes that he felt uh, for ben uh, practical benefits to mankind, he wasn't really that much interested in purely theoretical research. And that may have been a factor that he wasn't just particularly interested in uh, a prize for mathematics. It could also be that there was also a, a, a pretty major award uh, where he lived for mathematics, uh, so he didn't feel the need there. There's a story that goes that he, uh, that his, uh, lover was uh, jilted him for a mathematician and that uh, caused him to not do it but uh, there's really no no uh, evidence to support that story that's just a kind of apocryphal story that has come up that's really not true but there have been a few mathematicians that have won prizes but Nobel prizes but they would have had to have won all of them for something else and here are some examples. Uh, well, here's, as far as I know, this is the full list. Uh, Bertrand Russell won the 1950 Nobel Prize for Literature. Max Born and Walter Booth uh, won the 1954 Award for Physics. John Barden, the only type person who's won two awards for physics, to my knowledge. He won it in 1956 and 1972. Kenneth Arrow, 1972, one for economics. Leonid Kantrovich, in 75 for economics. Gerard Debro, in 83 for economics. Herbert Hauptmann, in 85 for chemistry. 1994 in economics was John Nash, did working in game theory. John People, in 1998, won one for chemistry. Clive Granger, won one in 2003 for economics. And Bob Allman, uh, won one in 2006 for economics. All of these people worked as, as mathematicians. All of them have PhDs or at least master's degrees uh, in mathematics. So they are mathematics mathematicians who won a Nobel Prize, but not a prize for mathematics. Well, do we have a prize in mathematics that's equal in prestige to, say, a Nobel Prize in physics, for example? And the answer is yes, there are two. There's the Fields Medal and the Obel Prize. So we're going to talk about those two prizes just a little bit and their winners. First of all, the Fields Medal was, was the older of the two awards. It was proposed by the Canadian mathematician John Charles Fields, and that's who it's named after. And he, uh, he provided the initial funds to get it started. It was adopted by the International Congress of Mathematicians in 1932, and the first recipient receiving the award in 1936. But it was it was it was given every four years, and it was paused during World War II. And after World War II, the next recipient was actually awarded in 1950. Uh, so now we uh, it's awarded, I guess, in years that are congruent to two mod four. They're even number years that are not multiples of four every four years. Initially, it was given to two individuals, and now it's given from two to four, typically four, since 1966. Now, this particular award was set up from the beginning for a young uh, mathematician who had established that they had done lots of really good work, but they also had some potential and promised for doing even more good work as, as time went on. So they had to be under the age of 40, and they could only win once. It's for the outstanding body of work and promise for more. You get a gold medal if you win it, and here is, a, here is an image of the front and back of this. This uh, bust on the front 
is uh, supposed to represent Archimedes. There is a, uh, a Greek phrase here on the outside that translates as rise above oneself and grasp the world. And that is, uh, was attributed to, that quote's attributed to Archimedes. On the back side, uh, there's a, there's a, some words there that translate roughly as the mathematicians assembled here from all over the world pay tribute for outstanding work. It does have a monetary prize as well, a lot less than a Nobel Prize, but it's $15,000 Canadian. From 1936 to 2022, 64 outstanding mathematicians have won the, won the award, and here are their names. Here are the ones from 1936 to 2002. The first two are pictured here, Jesse Douglas and Lars Alfors. And then they go on. I don't have time, not going to take the time to read every one of these. But every one of these folks uh, really probably deserves their own uh, video. Every one of the people who has earned a Fields Medal, with, medal uh, to date and was born in the uh, 20th century. So these are all relatively recent mathematicians in, the, in terms of uh, the history of the world and the history of mathematics. You can see here uh, in the order that they were given the award, the name of the mathematician, the country they were from, the year they won the award, and roughly what basic area that they uh, were working in when they got the award. If you will go uh, online, uh, it's not too hard to find some uh, some sites talking about this. The Wikipedia article, for example, will give you this list and show you their pictures and give you uh, some links to some short bios of all of these folks. Uh, a lot of these folks have bios on the um, Mac Tutor site that I use a lot as well. For the rest of them, here are the more... Uh, Recent ones from 2006 to 2022. I'm doing this uh, video in 2023, so this is all of the winners to date. I've pictured the two females who have won the world award. Uh, this on the top here is Miriam uh, Mizukani, who won it in 2014 in geometry. Unfortunately, she passed away young. And the most recent, one of the most recent winners is right here, uh, Marna Vizavaska from Switzerland. So uh, a lot of the folks on this page particularly are going to be folks that are, are still alive and doing some amazing work uh, today. So again, let's just back up and see those again. You can pause if you want. This is from the beginning. Um, these folks were under under 40 when they were uh, um, got the award, so there's a really good chance that uh, a lot of these folks are still alive today, and uh, especially the more recent ones are probably still still working and producing uh, new mathematics. Next, I want to talk about the other award that is pretty much equal in stature with both the uh, Fields Medal and the Nobel Prize. That's the Abel Prize. Uh, the Abel Prize is awarded annually by the King of Norway, and it's named after Niles Heinrich Abel, who lived from 1802 to 1829. And it's modeled pretty closely after the Nobel Prizes. And it was designed to, uh, you know, sort of make up for the fact that there is no Nobel Prize. It has a Nobel a monetary award of 7.5 million Norwegian kroner, and it was initially funded by the Abel Foundation, but it's now actually part of the Norwegian uh, uh, national budget. It was first proposed by Sophus Lee in 1899, but it wasn't established until 2001, so it, it was actually proposed at the very end of the 19th century and didn't actually uh, take place uh, in creation until the first part of the 21st century. The first winner was awarded in 2003. So this is a, a really pretty recent award. 
nominees must be living. It doesn't have the restriction of being under 40 like the uh, um, Fields Medal does, but they do have to be alive, or at least when they're uh, awarded it uh, or nominated for it. A selection committee is made up of five prominent mathematicians elected by the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. And here are the winners along with their pictures here. So, uh, so for example, I've put these in order, I hope. Uh, this is uh, Jean-Pierre Sierre, Michael Ataya, uh, uh, Isidore Singer, Peter Lax, and so forth, going across here and then going across here for the, for the last ones with the most recent winner from 2023, Louis Caffarelli from the United States who did work in nonlinear partial differential equations. Um, there's Nash who won a, won a uh, Nobel Prize. Uh, the ones that are bold, Sear here, Ataya, Thompson, who's here, uh, and Delange. Those, one, two, three, four, uh, also won uh, both a no an Nobel Prize and a Fields Medal. Uh, notice that we do have one female who has won the Abel Prize, Karen Allenbach. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit about women in mathematics. Women have actively been discouraged from doing mathematics for most of the history of mathematics. Uh, but luckily, uh, we've had some amazing women mathematicians throughout time that have succeeded and, and made mag uh, magnificent contributions to mathematics uh, in spite of that. And we've talked about some of them in this these various videos. But now you can see that things are getting better, maybe not 100% where they need to be yet, but better for women in mathematics. And we now see that uh, we've had one Abel Prize winner and uh, two Fields Medals won by females. So at the very pinnacle of mathematics today, we do have uh, some females working at the very, very highest levels. Um, and, and lots of others working at, at various levels in mathematics. So there's some hope for the future that we are going to have more and more females uh, participating at the highest levels of mathematics, and uh, which is a great thing because, I mean, just think about it, it just doubles your, your possibilities for having uh, people work in mathematics and do some great things. So uh, the future does does look bright for uh, for females and males in mathematics. There's lots of things that we'll, we can uh, continue to work on. And right here you see, uh, since this award has only been around since 2003, uh, most of these folks here are still alive and working in mathematics today. So there you have uh, some people who won Nobel Prizes in other fields, but they were mathematicians. And then, of course, the fa famous mathematicians and fantastic mathematicians, uh, uh, some of the best ones of the 20 and 21st century of, who have won Fields Medals and or Abel Prizes.